everyone. Welcome to my channel, Carol's Art Room. My name is Carol Penhill, and today in today's video, I'm going to do a bloom on a 8 by 8 canvas, I believe this is. And I'm going to use um, some turquoise and blue and some black inside the the bloom and a black cell activator so uh, I think it'll turn out good I hope I'm gonna use my little mini blower so stick around and I'll show you how I'm doing it down my white house paint which is beauty tone this is a velvet one beauty tone essentials it's velvet I usually use velvet or eggshell they both work well I'm not adding anything to it just the paint I've had good luck with it doesn't crack as long as you get enough paint off the canvas and don't leave it too thick on there, it's fine. Now, let's put some gloves on. All right. I'll probably use my mini blower. way you can see it I can't I'm not a good I'm not good with blowing it with my breath I find I've tried a few times but this works better for me I like it better with the blower or my straw my good yellow silicone straw all right so few air bubbles there. Just trying to get it as close to the edge as I can. Okay, so I'm going to show you my colors. The first one I'm going to put down is PBO. It's a PBO iridescent green blue. It's an iridescent color and it's a very pretty color. I also have my pigment, Perlex pigment. This is a blue green that I've mixed up. Got some deco art jadet. It's extreme sheen. I love these extreme sheen paints. They're pretty good. I've got this Americana satin true blue. The Americana brand, uh, line is pretty nice paint. Get a stick for this or spoon. see the consistency it runs off in a nice stream and then I made up some black oxide black no it's charcoal sorry these are so hard to read it's carbon carbon black pigment pearlex and I added a little bit of um, Mars black to it so I wouldn't have to use as much pigment to make it black. That usually works out pretty good. Okay, 
So, this is what I'm going to do. I just mixed up some of these paints, so there are probably lots of air bubbles. So I try to make my paints a little bit thinner than my base paint, than this. And I just add a touch of water just to thin it down a bit. So that's the PBO blue, uh, green blue. And I'm going to use blue green pearlex. This is more blue than green. And that runs off nicely. So now I'm going to use my JDAT. Which is a nice color. It's lighter to give it some more contrast. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's all gonna get blown out anyway. Of course, I never can find the right lid. I guess I'll have to find it later. Now I'll put down my true blue. Now I'll put my black. I think I'll take out some air, air bubbles first. Just mix this so it's probably just gonna add a tinch of water. I was gonna wait till tomorrow to do this, but I can't wait. White cell activator, which is my Australian Floetrol. 
and Amsterdam white. The recipe for these paints are in the description below my video. All right, let's do this. Well, it made a lot of cells. Now I'm going to let the middle come back. You have to wait for the middle to flatten out because it usually has an indent when you blow. And it's going to be a lot of lacing because white, the white cell activator seems to make lots of lace. See if there's any air bubbles. Trying to give a tip now. If you want to tilt it, I probably, I just hope I can get it to the edges. This is a bigger canvas than I'm used to, so I'm going to tilt it a little bit. But if you're going to decide to tilt, tilt first, then spin. Because you, if you spin and then try to tilt, you don't have enough paint to, um, so, so once that moves, then you, you're, you're good to, uh, I'm going to drip it on here.
Oh, there's a lot of paint. Just take some off so that it doesn't fly at me. off. I'm not sure. Always a side with the nice cells comes off. <laughs> pretty. stretching a lot. I don't know if I can get these corners going. And I don't think it's going to move now. Not enough paint. to just leave it. I like it. I love it. I like how the black goes through there. That was the top color and then my cell activator, so it's really cool. see any white dots just stick a stick into it or something pointy and it'll disappear I'll hold it up for you There. 
I don't know which way to put it. That way, maybe. Either way, it looks awesome. Look at that. Okay, everybody, have a great day, everyone, and uh, come back to Carol's Art Room where we can do some more beautiful blooms. I enjoy doing these. That's why I do so many. So if you feel like donating to my channel, I have a PayPal account in the description below. It helps me buy supplies to keep me going. I bring you guys more videos. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And this bloom technique is pretty, is I think an advanced pouring technique. So if you're new at pouring, I wouldn't start with a bloom. I'd start with something else like a flip cup or um, dirty pour or a... Um, Dutch pour, but start out with something easy first. That's how I got started anyways, because they didn't have this when I started. All right, well, have a good day and come back to Carol's art room. I'll put the dried result at the end. Bye. Hi, everybody. Here's my dried canvas, eight by eight. It's very pretty. It dries so smooth, so crisp and clear. Actually, it doesn't look, it looks more, there, you can see the color now. It looks more green when I'm looking at it. it turned out very pretty. I like it. The light's too bright here. There you go. Let's see if I can take it over here. There. Very shiny. Anyways, have a good day, everybody, and come back to Carol's art room.